Hello, let me show you a proof of the reverse triangle inequality in its general form for metric spaces. The reverse triangle inequality is the following inequality. dxy is bigger than or equal to the absolute value dxz minus dyz. And I have already written the proof for your convenience and I'm now going to explain to you. We start with the usual triangle inequality. This is this one. dxy plus dxz is bigger than or equal to dxz. And now what we do is we subtract dyz from both sides to get dxy is bigger than or equal to dxz minus dyz. And now have a look at this expression here. First assume that this is positive. So um, this means that dxz is bigger or equal to dyz so this is positive. Then um, we change. We we do, we do not we do not change anything by putting um, an absolute value around this expression because it is positive. So uh, this is the same as this expression. dxy is greater or equal to the absolute value of dxz minus dyz. And uh, this is, of course, uh, what we want to show. So um, this partly completes our proof, but we still need to consider the case where dxyz minus dyz is um, smaller than zero. So, so note that if dxz minus dyz is smaller than zero, we have that dyz minus dxz um, is bigger than zero. I've just um, flipped those two and uh, we get an expression that is bigger than zero. And um, now we can apply the ordinary uh, triangle inequality again in the form dyx plus dxz is greater than or equal to dyz. And um, if we subtract dxz from both sides, we get dxy is bigger than or equal to dyz minus dxz. And uh, this concludes our second case. And um, so all in all, we have shown that dxy is bigger than or equal to um, dxz minus dyz and uh, also uh, bigger than minus dxz minus dyz which is nothing but dx uh, dyx is greater or equal to the absolute value of dx z minus dyz. And um, yeah, that, this is all we needed to show and this concludes our proof. Thank you for watching and see you next time.